Welcome to ITK Bar Camp series. Today we're going to look at a small exercise to process a video using ITK filters. The content of this demo um, is displayed on the screen on the ITK Bar Camp documentation. And I have the environment set up to um, run OpenCV functionalities with ITK using the uh, new video modules we have in ITK v4. And here is the uh, video clip I'm going to uh, demo today uh, with our little exercise. And you can see in this thing there is a lot of curves in the lines. We're just going to use ITK filters to extract those edges. And um, let me show the uh, result first and then we can take a look at the code of how we do this with ITK. So the video I just showed and I have already compiled my exercise and I'm going to use this video as the input and then process it. You can see that these are the edge features um, extracted from the uh, video clip um, using ITK filters, canny edge detection. So how do we do this using ITK? Let me kill this program, and then let's look at the, uh, the actual code together. So in this short program, uh, we first pass in the video to OpenCV uh, function video, cap video capture. And um, people who worked in computer vision field, they use OpenCV library a lot to do a lot of video processing and data analysis. Um, so in this example, we use um, OpenCV's um, I.O. functionality to uh, input the video and then inside this function process and display uh, we pass in each of the frame that is read into this class pass it into ITK filter using uh, this function decide um, that defined over here process frame and you can see inside this process frame uh, it's very uh, familiar ITK pipeline. In this case, we piped three different filters to do uh, this edge detection because the passing frame um, image is an uh, unsigned char type. So we need to do some uh, image casting to casting the type to a float to be able to use canny edge detection. And then after that, we just uh, cast it back using rescale intense image filter. Um, it's just like, it's basically it's a binary image and then cast it back to unsigned char uh, to output. So all the way down here is all very familiar um, ITK code, but pay attention to this one. This is the um, functionality that we defined in this OpenCV image bridge class where you can convert um, CV um, mat data structure to ITK image class um, data. Very simple to use. You just put the input image here and then specify the input image type um, and then get the ITK image, ITK frame. And then after process each of the 2D frame image, using ITK filters, the output, if we want to dump all the frames into a output video, we then use another uh, function in this um, OpenCV bridge class called ITK image to CV mat, and then convert it back to um, a frame that's um, stored in CV mat data structure. So, and then this frame out then convert to the specific type of um, the video and then 
uh, save it uh, into a output video. So, yeah, this is a very basic um, video filtering uh, we can do with the help of the bridge module. And then for users who are new to um, ITK v4, um, we have introduced this uh, group, a group of video module. You can see over here, this is the source tree of ITK. We have Bridge OpenCV, Bridge VXL, a core video module, some filtering pipeline capabilities in I.O. And the, the class we were just using is under this Bridge OpenCV uh, module. And then if you look at its uh, modules definition, it contains the bridge methods that needs to, to, to have to interact with OpenCV library um, to process image or video data. And uh, it depends on IO and the core module. Um, and then this init scenic will require OpenCV. So to be able to build this with ITK, you need to have OpenCV installed, uh, installed in your system. Um, if you look at ITK build tree, you can see I have turned on um, the video module here. And um, also, the OpenCV dir is specified here. I installed OpenCV to my system, so it's automatically find it. Um, I think that's conclude this um, demo. I hope this is helpful for uh, new users who are interested to do some video processing with ITK. Thank you very much.